Hey, it's Keith Hagen reviewing Crate and Barrel for Inflow. So, this is one of my favorite sites. I um, saw the team being hired a few years back and I knew that they're assembling a great team and sure enough about six months later, um, that would be about two years ago, they released a redesigned version of the site and it's been one of my favorites ever since. So, I um, wanted to first go through the site and say exactly what I like about it. All right, so um, first is the home page. You'll see that they've got a pretty complex home page, but that's all right. It pulls off nicely. They start off with a static image that really focuses on whatever their main promotion is, but they make it evident right below that that they've got a lot going on. Here they're using a video image, and instead of using it at the top, um, where most marketers are tempted to place a video now, they use it on the second block, which is which is awesome because it tells you that there's a lot more to this home page than just the top and it encourages you to get going and once once you've created momentum down the page you've now created a lot more valuable real estate for the site so uh, this really attracts people to scroll down the page which is awesome and so they've you know what they do from there um, is really promotional but people always know that the uh, navigation is up top, they can go with that, but they're really attracted down by that second block, which I think is brilliant. All right, the next thing to go over uh, that I like about these guys are the um, the alternative navigation and the mega menu. So, of course, they have product and they've got tons of product, but they also have great alternative na navigation. So, uh, it's at least top rated, but you know, they go into things like picnic and beach. Um, which helps people find what they want and it's, it, they have to be seasonal so they curate their products into, into special sections and you know anybody can sell products but if you sell solutions to uh, going to the picnic uh, going picnicking or on the beach uh, that's where you're going to see a good increase in sales you're going to become a destination site for ideas and that's exactly what Crate and Barrel is and it does it well. Um, the next is if we go in any one of these products Let's go choose, say, dinner plates. All right. We see that there's um, nice gallery swatches here, let you know uh, what colors that they come in. And you can easily filter at the top. Now, they have top filtering, which most sites do left. And, and left navigation is a very safe uh, way to go, left filtering. Um, but they have their facet navs up top and it works for them because it allows them to show their products uh, better. They also have mouse over, um, you know, uh, when, when it's available, they allow you to mouse over and see how things look. It looks like they're only doing it on one set of plates here, but now you've got an idea how um, this dish will look when it's on a plate. Um, so that's, that's essential. They're answering as many questions as they can, including uh, when it's appropriate, they add compare links. And they also add former pricing uh, to it, or they let you know that the, uh, the area is new. Now, they do have a new section, so you can go see whatever's new if you're a big Crate and Barrel fan. Otherwise, they'll mark it off and, and uh, help you uh, identify any new products. So great for them. They also do a really good job at uh, calling out sales, and I want to maybe see if I can find something that shows that. Okay, here I found a great, great uh, example. They say that it's a clearance item, so they give you the reason for the sale, the context. They tell you what it regularly is, and they list what the price is in red. So you can't help but know that, uh, you know, not only that it's a sale, but what what scale this, the, the item is on sale as. And I mentioned that they have a new area, so if you go to these longer gallery pages, uh, let's say we go to New Kitchen, you'll see that they use Lazy Load. So that is, let's just scroll down and cause some havoc here. There we go. If you scroll down really quickly, you'll see that the images load as you scroll down. So, you know, on our 20 um, site best in class uh, e-commerce list, uh, we see only four sites are currently doing this. But last year, 
uh, when we compiled uh, our, our matrix, we saw only one site was doing it. So uh, big increase, and we can expect more lazy low product pages to come from uh, retailers that sell a lot of products. Now let's go take a look at one of their product pages. A lot of great things going on. Now these guys have an adaptive site, which means that they can uh, tailor the site to desktop, but also to my resolution. So uh, take a look over here on the right. People who viewed this item also bought these items. So they're immediately giving you some cross-sell. Um, and the reason for that is their product pages are landing pages. And when somebody's landing from, say, Google Shopping, or some other source, they're anchored at that, at that source. So they're anchored in Google Shopping. They're going to want to go back, take a look at the product, and then go back to Google Products to look at the next product, because their reference point is Google Products. So what Crate and Barrel does a great job at is re-anchoring them, giving them a new anchor, a new place to anchor themselves, or a new frame of reference, so that people come and they immediately see this, but Crate and Barrel knows that people who bought this also bought these, and now these people look at them and go, oh yeah, I might need a mixer too, or oh, I need a knife, and now they're distracted. Now they're going to be stuck on Crate and Barrel looking around, and their Google Shopping reference page list is a memory. And so this is a very key item to do when you can. Most of these are down below. Our designers recommend this, and people who viewed this also viewed that, which is just repetitive of what's up before. But these tactics are so successful. You definitely want to have more than one of them at the bottom of your product page. But they're so successful that Crate and Barrel has figured out how to, on certain screen resolutions, include them above the fold so that people not only land on their product pages, but they stay on their product pages. So that's a, a brilliant element um, that, that they've got in play. Another great thing about the page is that as you scroll down, it keeps um, the, the title and the add to card and the price and reviews, keeps that static on the page. Um, and you'll notice that it even allows those commonly bought items to, um, to actually persist over, which is, again, shows you um, shows you how, how uh, great a feature that is. Next thing I like about it is the Add to Cart experience. Um, when you add to cart, you get a full screen page. So it's like you've been added to the cart, only you can easily close it. Um, normally, uh, I call these bags, and bags normally show up uh, either drop down from the top, which I don't favor, or they show up as light boxes. Um, so to speak, over the page. This is basically a light box, only it captures your attention completely by taking over your screen. Um, I can only think that they tested this and it works well. And it does give them more real estate in order to work with um, additional items that they want to promote. And they'll be, they'll be relevant. So probably a great use of a recommendation engine by Crate and Barrel. So the last thing is I'm going to hit checkout, and checkout by convention goes to the cart, does not go to checkout. Um, and, uh, you know, one thing that they do is they emphasize returns made easy. And that's something that's obviously a concern that their users have. And they even mention up here as well, to the right. And uh, they promote store pickup, uh, you know, which, you know, um, is a, really the first time that you learn that they have store pickup, but uh, it's mentioned here. And then they also allow you to sign in so you can see your cart across devices. That's, uh, that's essential these days. So a uh, pretty good checkout experience, um, tailored to them, but pretty standard. And um, hopefully everybody watching this understands why I like Crate and Barrel so much. And they keep on doing good, innovative things. Um, as well as they do the basics really well. So great team over there, and um, I can't wait to see what they keep innovating with a focus on their with a focus on their their customers.